Okay, let's get the program started here. Hopefully everybody can hear me. We're going to do something a little bit different uh, in this, uh, this month's webinar in that uh, we're not going to do any video um, because uh, GoToWebinar has some issues with um, people being able to see the video after the fact. So uh, I just want to make sure everybody is able to see uh, my screen okay. Uh, um, Chris, I know you're out there, so uh, you seeing the screen okay? We're showing the uh, AREX website right now. Great. Okay, so I wanted to start off um, this program by at least kind of bringing you up to date on a couple of things before we get into the uh, the, the value of clean part of the program, but uh, you're looking at the AREX website. Um, if you haven't been here in a while, it's been updated, obviously. Um, I've referred to in previous um, shows that we have the videos or the recording of these webinars uh, available for, for viewing, and that's under Product Knowledge Distributor Access. So all the way down here at the bottom, if you click on distributor access, it's going to ask you for a password. I'm not going to give that uh, to you right now. I will send that out to um, everybody in a later email announcing the recording going to be a, is available. But you would enter the password there, and then that'll give you access to um, things like some sales information, the past recordings uh, that we've got uh, up there. Uh, stuff that you wouldn't necessarily want the end customer to see, uh, costing, things like that. Um, so that's where you can get uh, the previous showing and then the sub this, uh, this, this recording that I'll be posting up uh, hopefully in the next day or so. Additionally, um, since we only have a, a short while until June 1st, I wanted to make you aware if you didn't get the email that was sent out earlier, uh, this is on the bullnonline.com site. We have uh, posted up all of our brand uh, SDSs. Uh, so if you want to go to uh, the uh, Arex ones, in this case, uh, clickable links, these will give you the full SDS sheets that you need uh, and then any others, uh, any other brands you can get from those individual ones. All of the inventory that will be shipped after uh, June 1st of any of our brands will be GHS compliant. And there's also going to be in the upper uh, right hand corner of the box artwork on the outside of the cases a yellow sticker light like graphic it's actually part of the artwork that says GHS compliance so when you're looking at your inventory for the distributors out there listening in you'll know what is the new inventory with the GHS compliant labels and what is the, um, the stock that is not GHS compliant so uh, that gives you an easy way of um, knowing what's what's old and new. Uh, you as in the distributor field are fortunate to have until December to rotate all of your inventory. But as we've told you in previous emails, the sooner the better. Just make sure you don't put that new stock that you get in from us or any other manufacturer um, um, in front of your old stock because it's important that you move that stuff out because um, I know we had a, we have a lot of issues with inventory that we have that uh, you know with the Arex line having the number of products that it has in it uh, sometimes it's uh, uh, things don't turn quite as often as you would like so we've had the last two months to um, turn that inventory over but uh, you know we have the same issues you as the distributor has but uh, unfortunately, we only have another week and a half or so, or whatever it is. So again, that's um, that's on the Bullen Online site. Uh, the individual product sheets um, or product pages that are on the Eric site uh, will have those links um, updated with the new sheets uh, within the next couple of days. But in the meantime, uh, you can get them all on the Bullen Online site. <clears throat> So let's go to uh, the purpose of the uh, today's webinar is um, on the value of clean. Uh, and let me start this up. Uh, I was fortunate enough to um, do this presentation for one of our great distributors. Uh, we call them a platinum level distributor. Those of you out there uh, didn't know there was different levels. Um, uh, we 
we decided to call this particular distributor a platinum level because of the fantastic job that they do in a certain geographic area that doesn't have as much population as New York City or some of those other markets. But uh, about three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, I went up and did this uh, value of clean presentation. And I was also able to sit in um, just recently, about a week and a week ago, um, when Anthony Trombetta from ISSA came and did the same presentation down by the Philadelphia airport. So what I've done is a mixture of this presentation from ISSA, which if you're a member of ISSA, uh, you're able to download uh, this presentation as well as the white paper. Um, again, that's another good reason to join the ISSA. Um, I'm gonna blend this presentation from ISSA, which has a lot of statistical information as to the value of clean that you can tell your customers about, and also uh, the Eric's presentation that kind of talks about the products that tie in with the value of clean. So I'm not going to go through every single one of these um, slides, but let me uh, click through. So we want to define uh, define the value of clean and what it means to the end users. And uh, when we did this presentation um, at our distributor um, in Pennsylvania, and also Anthony did at the the one that was down by the airport, tried to bring home the return on investment uh, uh, that a distributor or end user can can benefit from from cleaning. Uh, we all kind of know that cleaning is good, but if you can put some dollars and cents to it, it really makes a, a bigger difference. So we're really going to talk about the, you know, the value of cleaning and how it uh, really goes to the bottom line. So in, you know, one of the things that ISSA tried to tie in with on this presentation is uh, their SIM certification and things like that. And that gets into uh, a lot of business operational things as far as uh, standard operating procedures and things like that. But I wanted to focus more on things like um, absenteeism, how if you can reduce absenteeism by cleaning and uh, proper cleaning with proper products, that, you know, what kind of dollars and cents that uh, relates to um, in the real world. So we're going to talk about health-related loss productivity, or LPT, uh, $225 billion per year. That's a, a lot of money uh, overall. That's $1,320 per employee. Uh, so that's just uh, reducing absenteeism. Uh, and then we're going to get into presenteeism as well. But you know, we're talking about some very large dollars here uh, from that standpoint. We, and then we, uh, the nice thing that ISSA pointed out is this is a great, um, a great bit of data here as to the duration of persistence for certain bacteria that you'd run into. So if you look at Acinetobacter at the very top there, uh, that's a real bad one because it'd be three days to five months. Acinetobacter is something that generally isn't a thing that you'd run into on a cruise ship or in your schools or whatever. It's related to uh, some of our overseas uh, uh, forces uh, and they, when they come back. C. diff might be something that's a little bit more um, um, knowledgeable, you're more aware of. Uh, in the general problem, but C. diff again, kind of is more in nursing homes and that type of thing. Going further down down the list would be like Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Salmonella. That's uh, more related to uh, general cold and flus and things like that. So this gives you an idea of the severity from fairly minor six hours to something as bad as five months. Uh, and that would obviously involve proper infection control. So things like hand sanitizers, these are all products that obviously you could sell. Uh, a lot of these studies were done using an ATP meter, uh, which Bullen was influential in innovating uh, probably five, six years ago uh, before anybody else used it. ATP meters come from the food processing or meat industry um, more than the cleaning industry. It was kind of a device that... Uh, one of the benefits of the ATP meter is it allows you to very quickly uh, do some swabs on surfaces to get an indication as to the pathogens that might be there. It doesn't tell you what pathogens they are, um, but at least gives you some indication of organic matter that's there that uh, 
you could assume is going to tie in with uh, bacteria and things like that. Um, getting on to what does that mean is we talk about touch surfaces. This is a big part of the discussion that we had uh, at our distributor, as well as the uh, the one that um, the ISSA held. And we're talking about uh, things like highly touched objects and contamination. <clears throat> I don't have a cold, but I do have some allergies, so I apologize for my voice sounding a, a little on the, on the dry side. But with, one of the points that I made at the presentation that I gave for our distributor was you don't <coughs> excuse me you don't you don't need to disinfect floors and walls and ceilings and everything else. You need to really focus on those touch surfaces where you're really going to have uh, a lot of contact. So in this illustration, we have copier stations, elevator buttons, um, supermarkets would be shopping carts. This particular illustration is more for offices and uh, that type of you know, commercial building situation. But if you took it to the degree of a supermarket, you can see all the, the hand sanitizers around the entrance uh, because of the uh, problems associated with uh, touching shopping carts. Now I'm going to tie in with the Eric's presentation particular products that would be used for dealing with these highly touched objects and contamination. But this is a good way of illustrating this kind of what you're supposed to be concerned about. <clears throat> these are some of the numbers that you have to uh, um, kind of pass on to your customers, reduce the probability of infection and cold influenza by approximately 80%. This is if you do some hygiene intervention procedures, which we'll get into with those AIRX products. So you're going to reduce the number of surfaces contaminated by viruses by 62%, reduce absenteeism by much as 46%. And remember that number at the very beginning there was in the billions of dollars that is directly connected with absenteeism. So it's good to know some of these, these uh, figures uh, when you're talking to your customers so you can talk to them about the return on investment specifically with cleaning and the proper procedures and the products involved with it. So getting into presenteeism, not too many people know what presenteeism is, but presenteeism is where a sick person comes to work and gets other people sick. I'm sure we all have done it ourselves. Um, you come into work thinking, I've got so much stuff to do, I can't miss a day. And you think you're doing the company some good, uh, where in fact it's uh, you're costing your company uh, lots of money. Productivity can be reduced by 30% because not only do you, um, you're not productive, but you're also going to get the people around you sick as well. Uh, inability to be social with uh, coworkers, decrease the quality of your work, um, lack of initiative, not the, not even mentioning uh, what effect you're going to have on uh, your fellow workers as well. So let's go to the next slide. Okay, five percent productivity gain uh, will give you another one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Uh, now that relates to if you have a, a cleaner facility and you have, don't have as many people sick, etc. So I'm not going to go into the detail as far as the numbers in general. Let me jump to another slide here. This uh, Now we're going to get into the actual facility itself. Some of these stats are very, very impressive. Uh, this is a survey that was done of quick serve restaurants, but I think you could take it to an office building or any other facility. Uh, this is the most annoying cleanliness aspects of a particular facility. And top is uh, uh, dining room tables and chairs, bathroom and toilets are the uh, second, bathroom floors are down there. You can see the, uh, the figure, the most annoying is the blue and the most often found is the green. So if you're running a facility, this is what uh, your customers are being turned off by. Here's another one. <clears throat> These are the most annoying cleanliness aspects. Um, bathroom toilet is uh, right there, 46% uh, for most often found and 52% for most annoying. 
Let's go a little bit further, some more stats. This is importance of atmospheric elements. Uh, now up at the top is, uh, again, this is chain store. So we have TVs with ads, uh, but very down at the very bottom, this is the most important stuff is cleanliness. Uh, that's above lighting, temperature, aisle width, fixtures, floors, quietness, music. Cleanliness is the most important thing. Here's another one. This is uh, three surveys that were done with uh, over a thousand U.S. audits. 94% would avoid a business if they encountered a dirty restroom. I used the example um, to why we chose Ted Peters a few years ago when I was president of the ISSA to um, be our keynote speaker. Was when I read his new book, he talked about when he drives from his farm in Vermont to uh, Logan Airport, he stopped at a specific restaurant, not because the coffee was good or the food was good or the people were nice. It was because he knew they had a clean bathroom. So he kept going back to that facility because of the clean bathroom. Jumping down a little further, this is the the, the service. Uh, let's go back to asset preservation. Another great return on investment for cleaning. So if you can make a carpet last longer because you're selling them the proper equipment and the proper chemicals, um, that's going to really be a big return on investment for the facility. Again, we're not going to get into every one of the specifics. They talk uh, in the in this uh, PowerPoint presentation about the life of certain tiles and tiles versus carpet. Reduced hospital associated infections. Again, this would be specific to hospitals, but really gets into um, nowadays. Uh, it's almost safer to not go under the scalpel and not go to into the hospital if you can possibly avoid it because you never know what you're going to get while you're in there that you didn't even have before you got there. Again, reduced infection. So this would be for people that sell into hospital nursing homes, that type of thing. And then daytime cleaning uh, is a great subject that's been around for quite some time. This is, again, another return on investment for cleaning. Instead of cleaning at night, reduce energy. So the finish up on the ISSA one, the ISSA has a value of clean calculator that as a member you can download. Uh, and it runs on a Windows Windows machine, no Macs, uh, but allows you to plug in the different things that you need to to be able to calculate some of the things that we just covered in that, uh, that part of the presentation. So now let me jump now to where we take that with, with Arex over here. The Eric's presentation was after the ISSA value of clean presentation. So we're going to get down here. Let's go down into, okay, so what I, what I targeted was specific products, again, knowing that Eric's is three-dimensional. And we talked about the history of Erex at the very beginning, but then I target the specific products that tie in with what we call the Erex or Rx value of clean. And this would be a customer satisfaction. Controlling odors in the airs would be Erex 17, Erex 22, Erex 60, uh, Erex Refresh. These are all products that would be for controlling odors in the air. And then we get into surface uh, products. This covers a, this slide has all of the Erex products that relate to surface. But then I focused on specific ones. Um, this presentation will be updated with the new labels uh, shortly. Um, so Erex 15 is one of our disinfectant products. Another disinfectant would be the 44 ACE HTQ or EBO. These would be all for controlling pathogens, again, back to cleanliness that was pointed out in the original uh, presentation by ISSA, Eric 75 wipes, um, Eric's 101, that's controlling odors on the surfaces, and then the final one would be Eric's 200. Uh, so our subsurface, um, this would be controlling odors again, so this would get into cleanliness. Um, 
Eric's 34. This would be for outside in dumpster areas around restaurants. Worst thing a restaurant can have is a dirty dumpster that's somewhere near the entrance. So the patrons that are coming up smell all this rotting garbage and everything else. Um, Eric's 66, specifically in those bathroom areas. So so if you want to, you know, if you can disinfect the bathroom with any of the great Arex disinfectant products, but if you don't take care of the organic matter, something like Arex 66 does a fantastic job on that. Um, you're still going to have those odors coming back. So Arex 82, that gets into asset preservation. Um, another Arex value of clean. And Arex 200, this uh, is controlling odors on the surface and subsurface odor controlled floor care it's a specific group of products that are made with reduced odor that normally are associated with floor care products um, and then we get into things like uh, the specifics about pathogen control again i'm not going to go into huge detail there um, this presentation talks a, a bit about how you uh, read a disinfectant label uh, understanding disinfectants. We're talking about that touch point disinfecting instead of doing every part of uh, an area. We have a distributor up in the New York City market when swine flu, the swine flu outbreak took place a few years ago. And to our pleasure, the, the school district wanted to disinfect the entire uh, building from floor to ceiling, uh, which quite honestly wasn't necessary because, again, we're talking about focusing on those touch points. Uh, but we were certainly glad to sell them the product uh, for that. And then uh, the last thing would be um, our key product on pathogen uh, control, which is the uh, compliance center. Uh, get into a bit about uh, costing and obviously the ending of the, uh, of the presentation there. So let me jump out of that. And go back to the website. Okay, so we've been going here for oh, about 18 minutes. I know in previous shows, uh, some people wanted to uh, ask some questions. So I'm going to see if, the, if you can type in your questions on the keyboard there. Or if you want, I could also possibly uh, unlock your microphone and you could uh, ask a question out there. But uh, I'll try to be patient this time because I was accused of uh, jumping off too fast before but uh, that's the presentation on uh, how you can take the ISSA work. And the, you know, they spent a lot of money on this presentation because you know the statistics that are required to present this properly you just can't say, hey, if you clean your building, you're going to get more business. You know, Through these studies they've done with the surveys and everything else, they have all the data uh, that uh, you need to be able to talk about the return on investment for cleaning. Um, if you are not an ISSA member, I would suggest you contact us at Bullen here or any other um, members that uh, if you're a distributor and you have end users that maybe uh, aren't members, um, you can get that white paper from a member and certainly pass it on. We will make the both of these presentations available on that distributor portal. Um, so any questions out there uh, before I sign off? Uh, I'm not seeing any. Uh, anybody typing out there quickly? No. Okay. Well, I thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, we're going to try to keep these uh, webinars uh, to about 20 minutes or so because I know your time is important and uh, we don't want to bore people necessarily uh, uh, with super long presentations. But I appreciate you uh, tuning in and uh, stay clean and healthy. <laughs>